Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Dave the Diver. I've been having so much fun with this game and it seems like you guys are enjoying it as well because I get so many questions about Dave the Diver. When's the next part coming out? Please give me the part right now. Well, here it is. I got another one for you. And today we're going to go back into the deep ocean. Last time we went there, we found a lot of large sharks, but there's definitely more secrets down there that we're going to find. And I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. And let's hop into the game. Let's go. Oh, baby. Here we go. Okay. Uh, what happened last time? Let me give a little recap. Mostly just for myself, honestly. We got a... Oh, yeah. We can upgrade weapons now. That's one thing I've been looking for. So we're trying to pick up as many materials as possible. I think we got the translator thing, right? Get the coral. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we got the translator. We helped out or we we got the materials that we needed. And then we gave that to Boncho. Boncho made some kind of remedy because the remember one of the sea people was hurt so we're gonna try and save them uh we got one more oh yeah we can do night fishing now too and we got the farm dude this game keeps getting crazier and crazier every time you think you got all the mechanics they keep adding more so last time we got the fish farm which if you capture a fish by like making it fall asleep rather than just killing it you um have a chance to get fish eggs or something did i ever get you guys I don't know if I ever got you. Okay, there's the comber. I definitely got you. Um, also, what I found out based on the comments is that the um, blue, the limestone cave is actually extremely rare to find, apparently. But it spawns a lot of the time when you're like doing the mission for that one VIP because you obviously need the fish from the limestone cave, which means that I should always check if the limestone cave is there because if it is, we need to get some jelly for the most um oh there we go we got a hush dart already i should really be wait oh yeah i upgraded my gun underwater rifle i should really be taking the upgraded hush dart with me maybe we can get a titan fish egg hi there friend you're gonna fall asleep oh wait it's here wait no no these are barrel yeah, jellyfish never mind you got me all excited for no reason uh but please fall asleep there we go we get an egg does it show up I guess the eggs are like exceedingly rare or maybe i need like an upgrade because people were saying i needed an upgrade for um for my sleep dart to be able to uh like capture the the older fish or not the older fish the bigger fish like sharks and stuff like that another thing uh people were saying um i forgot <laughs> i was i was I just had something in my brain and i was like <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna talk about that as well, but I forgot it'll come back. It's not important as my mom would say every time I would forget something um, Barrel jellyfish. I don't know if we can even make something useful out of this But this is just something I can sell. I think I should grab um, Don't you hate that by the way you walk into like a room and then you're like why the fuck am I here? And then you just like walk trace back your steps and you're like, oh now I know why I'm here I was gonna get some, uh, some Food or something. I don't know <laughs> Why do human brains do that? We got such terrible memory. Also, this freaking lionfish, leave me alone, please. Um, we are trying to get. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember. <laughs> I was still in my brain. I was still stuck in my brain, thinking about what I wanted to say. Um, I we were. T I was talking about. I don't think I can show you here, but I was talking about wanting to level up to gold, obviously, so we can have more menu items and stuff. Uh, and I needed like a rating, uh, like happiness rating or something, which is apparently the highest rated happiness of your food is what that happiness rating is. So if I want to get gold, I need to get a better food. So I need to upgrade my food. That's not going to work. What am I thinking? Um, I will have to upgrade my, uh, my dishes so I can, uh, oh God. Which we, I mean, the highest, oh god, the highest food that I got is most likely the, oh, this is stupid, this is stupid. What the hell? Dude, he freaking predicted my movement like a Dead by Daylight killer, excuse me. Boom, there he goes, get out of here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to upgrade one of our dishes, which I've been upgrading, that's one of the things I've been doing quite a lot. I've been upgrading, also fragments, fragments are really important. We got a white tip. What the hell? We got some. We got a new item. Um, nice. We can upgrade our, our hush start. Please don't kill me. 
Yeah, I should try to upgrade my dish. Salt! That's exactly what we need for our most expensive dish. Um, and there's another weapon thingy. I love it here. I, uh, it's interesting how much longer every single tree. Oh, come on, you piece of crap. I thought it was like the other plant. How much longer the trips down into the ocean have gotten every time. Is that a new fish? Stop it. Stop it. I will sleep you. I will get level three. This thing. I want this. I think. Yes. And then we got... Oh, no. I should grab you. You're only going to sleep for a little bit. Nice. We got the trigger fish thingy. Um, I could try and get you guys. Because I think I upgraded this sushi quite a bit. We'll get both of you. Again, why I'm sleeping them is so I get... I don't even know if I'm doing this right. Like with the eggs. I thought they said I should sleep them. And then I could get eggs. Oh, you're already sleeping. But anyway, a red tooth as well. Okay, I don't think there is a... Um, limestone cave again. Yeah, I think I'm already on the edge of the map. It's interesting how rare that stuff is. Maybe it just doesn't show up for a while. We got another oxygen tank. I'll take them. Hi there, these fish are pretty. This guy is annoying. I'm just going to avoid you. We're going down into the dark depths again. Uh, and seeing what we can find. Also, yeah, you can't see the things. Wait, maybe that's it. Maybe. Wait a minute. This could be good. I don't... I think this is just the place I keep finding. Actually, this looks suspiciously like the blue limestone cave. I think this might be, just be it. This is with the... Where are the jellyfish, though? I'm here to find the jellyfish. Obviously, we gotta go here. Oh, I should be careful. I guess I can use this. Um, I think I needed... There were two on top of each other. I need the glass as well for something, I think. Or maybe it's just junk you can sell. I mean, money is always good. We got, like, really good employees. Oh, God. Look <laughs> at my character's going crazy. Um, like, in terms of the sushi business, we've been doing well. I just need to get better sushi. Nice. We get a level three hush start. Maybe now I can... <laughs> maybe now I can f make some uh, giant sharks fall asleep. All right. We're, we'll just go down. Don't send me in there, please. Lots of stuff here. Dude, the music in this game is so good. <laughs> Love the music. Especially the title screen music. I just sit on the title screen sometimes for a while. Just listening to the very nice music. And it's been so... I mean, I, I know I've said it many a time, but it's super fun to see people like... I started playing this game because of you, and then we just have a fun time together. We just play the same game, share some information. I'm gonna try and get out of there. That's what gaming is all about. And this game is, like, perfect for the summer. It's the perfect summer game. Which I absolutely despise summer. Oh, God, the Megalodon is back. I don't think a level 3 hush dart's gonna be uh, enough to make the Megalodon fall asleep, but... That guy is large. Boom. Lead ore. I mean, I'll take anything at this point. Or, uh, what? What? I got so much oxygen. I have infinite oxygen. I already got ammo. Really wish you could carry a few more bullets than that. Uh, we need 66 more meters down. Also need one more blue shell. So many things to collect. Uh, oh yeah, another thing. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, what else is new? Uh, apparently, whenever I am doing my sushi restaurant, I am wasting almost all my sushi because this, I forgive myself for this because this is extremely confusing, but apparently when you're doing, uh, when you're like setting up the menu, you shouldn't actually put every sushi you got on there, which that makes sense to me, but the way you should do is, is you should put only one on there and then you should turn on auto supply so it automatically make more if the people need it. That's what someone said in the comments. It sounds ridiculous because that means you basically like have to do this weird loophole to save yourself sushi. Because apparently if you just put everything on there you got, if it's not sold by the end of the day, it'll just be thrown away, which doesn't make any sense. I don't know why they do it that way. Um, 
Oh, come on, fuck off. I'll, I'll use it, sure. Uh, so yeah, that's a little confusing. Anyway, we need to go over here. We're very close. Get out of here, anglerfish. Oh, we got this as well. Now I need a pickaxe. Oh. Pickaxe gonna be in here. You piece, get away from me. Now! Hey, can I sleep you? Probably. You look tiny. Are you another fish? Oh! Oh, you didn't. Here he goes. Look at that fang tooth. Three star fang tooth. Right, give me a pickaxe. I appreciate it every time. Ooh, stay away. Holy shit. Okay, I need 14 more meters down. I think you could sell these for 50, so every one of these is just like quite quite a bit of money. Can I break this as well? These rocks, or is this just background? This is a background, makes sense. I need a UV light. I'd like an attack move. Oh, now I need to use the. I don't need this anymore. Look at me go. Grab this real quick. Still need to figure out a way to go deeper in the ocean. Because. Obviously, because I, I think I can go up to like 300 meters deep, but I've only been able to reach a maximum of 230. Also, I'm so curious, like, because whenever I like yell at the summer for being annoying, I always have a few people that are like, summer's the best. And I'm like, why? <laughs> like, what? What do you like about the summer? Like, I genuinely can't think of a single thing that I like about the summer, except I guess like it's usually when you went on vacation as a child. Like, that's like the only thing because I despise the utter heat. I mean, it's mostly just climate change making it unbearable. But uh, here I brought some coral porridge. Oh, so you really. Oh, by the way, I need to move over. Uh, you really brought it. Seems to be all right. So we gave the this was the recipe we got. Also, we can talk to these people now because we got a translator. <laughs> oh my god, this guy is insufferable. This guy is an insufferable asshole. <laughs> like what the fuck? That was not at all what I expected, by the way, when I found these. That he was gonna be such a dick. Yeah, I feel much better now. I can't remember anything after seeing squid tentacles. Uh, a human? What is a human doing down here? Well, you could say that I saved you. I defeated the giant squid and brought you the coral porridge. Hmm, is that so? Wait, Ramo, that's not it. I'm actually the one who... All right then, human. You shall escort me back to my village. Me? Why should I? I'm an injured lady. You need to keep anything dangerous from happening. What is this trope? <laughs> the damsel in distress trope? Ramo, I can escort you. So, Wam, you go ahead and scout our path. What? How could you let a human escort you? I can keep you safe and... You haven't even passed the village tactics exam. It was tough enough to coming down here. Ah, oh. that's a sore spot for me. So I'm um, stop complaining and be our lookout for the path ahead. As for you, human, you'll have to carry me on your back. Oh, my back. It's hard enough to move around as it is down here. Oh, my injured fin is hurting again. You are impossible. I'll take you to the village and no further. Wait, this is good. We're going to get a... I'm telling you, they're going to open one of those things I was commenting on. Like the wooden board. They're going to open the wooden board underneath the skeleton. That's what I'm predicting right now. Get to the target location safely with Ramo on your back. Ramo has the ability to open up two warm paths. Watch your surroundings carefully and escort her safely. Okay, dude. Jesus. Here we go. Oh, I need to hold right click. Escort Ramo. An escort quest now. This is ridiculous. How's she gonna get rid of this? Special ability? Oh! It just emits UV light. Look at that. What's oh the bar is her health bar. I was like, does he have oxygen? That seems a bit ridiculous because she's been down here this whole time. We can't I can't sprint or anything. What is this? Another can I pick this up? Wow. God damn it. Thank you. Oh, hi there. Good follow. Good. Follow along. Make sure Ramo isn't hurt. I'm doing my best. I'm doing a good job. You got yellow UV light. I don't know how that works. I mean, I guess the UV light doesn't have to be purple, right? Why is UV light purple? Because the sun isn't purple. <laughs> you need some scientists in the comments. 
you feel like this like almost always in video games and like in real life as well i got a uv light it's purple but i guess that might just be one of those things where we just kind of accepted it oh god what is this vibration it's rare to experience one so strong did something happen to the village we must return quick hurry human where's ramon we go just further down there, there he is. I didn't see him. Oh god, that's the big shark from before. I hate you. Yeah, he's totally gonna open up the floorboards beneath this. I'm telling you. Ah! This, yes. No! Giant shark, please. Help! What am I supposed to do? Okay, I'm gonna let you go. No! Come over here. Oh my god, this is... What? No, 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 come here. This is ridiculous. Help! Why would you... Jesus Christ. Oh, why did I sleep him? That's not gonna work. Help. Help. Remote, do anything! Or Suam, do anything at all, you useless sack of shit. <laughs> like, please. Goodness. Oh, is she re regenning? Okay. He's leaving? No. No, 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 you absolute idiot. Do something. Oh my god. Oh my god. Help. Is he gonna go back? Yeah, he's gonna go back. Okay, can I shoot him on the way out? No. No. Okay, grab it. Can I grab it and just run? Run. Oh my god. <laughs> That's fucked up. Alright, I need oxygen. There we go. Whew. Here you go, I got her. Not with the help of you at all, you useless idiot. Hey now, human, don't tell me you're tired already. Bring her carefully. God damn, all these people are annoying as fuck. <laughs> oh, I was on top of the oxygen, by the way. Anyway, gotta get used to that. Oh my god, I need to keep going and you're almost dead. This is bad. That was fricked up, man. Okay, you're all the way down there already? Okay, so we are going. Never mind. I was wrong about that. Oh, no. We go down here. Ah, oh, shit. I gotta kill these guys. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. And this is terrifying. Oh, come on. That literally just hit him straight in the face. Okay. <laughs> okay, we got this. Also, it's just like, go back. Oh, that's because they don't want you to come here. What is that really? Can I read these texts now? I can't still translate. I can't translate those. I need these bullets. Oh, no, not the ghost shark. This, this is a ghost shark from... Oh, whoops, I did it again. This is a ghost shark from... Uh, Dredge, right? That at least looks like it. I remember those had a really annoying shape. I think I have to go through here, probably. Also grab the fragments. Maybe grab some oxygen. I don't think it attacks, though. It just, uh... When you attack it, it will attack back. It's just like a protection. Oh, no, not this, man. What am I supposed to... No! Oh my god! <laughs> this shit sucks, man. I don't even know. I, I think I'm supposed to go here. Dude, this is the most stressful escort quest of all time. I have more oxygen. Could really use some of that right now. She's literally like one tap. Is this a new fish? Oh, I got a bomb. I mean, sure, I guess. All right, here we go, Ramo. What are, or Suam. I Ramo reminds me of Raman, and I knew someone that kind of looks like this guy named Raman, so I just keep thinking <laughs> his name is Raman. But that's the 
That's the princess's name or whatever. Okay, this area. I see. Oh no, what's okay. going on? Uh, it must have been a fire. No, not true. It's not the vibrations from earlier because I came down here and I saw this previously, you liar. Suwam, think of something. I need to get back quick before my father scolds me even more. Um, hmm, maybe we can open up a path by dropping the loose rock pile over there. If we can topple it and make it fall, it might just do the trick. I suppose it might work. How do we make the rocks fall, though? See a stake over there. Maybe if we pull it out. Human, can you pull out the stake over there? The stake, I think I'll get... God. I think I'll hurt my hands with the gloves. I'm wearing. We're going to get the gloves, and then we're going to be able to get the... The, like, spiky things as well. We should probably do it with gloves that are thicker and offer a better grip. If my apologies, I left the microphone on because I was dying to know what you were talking about. If it's enhanced diving gloves you need, I think my lab could help you out. New gloves? The equipment goes hand in hand with exploration. Does it not come up to the boat? I think there must be a way. Could you m wait here for a moment? Hold it, human. You plan to leave Ramo in a dangerous place like this? Luckily, she has me guarding her. Still be back quick. Okay. Well, I need to, like, get some fish as well, man. I've barely done anything. I'm not going up there. We need to find some fish. We are only 33 kilos deep into this exploration. Boom. Oh, more oxygen. I'm just gonna drop this. How do I... I, I guess I could do this. Boom. Swap. No, I want... Instead of this, because the bombs are kind of useless. Okay, now I guess we have to go back through the same way we came in. Or no, there's a fish. This looks like a new fish. Oh, but everything here dies in like 200 hits though, which is kind of annoying. Maybe I can just use my art instead. Is it kind of sleepy? Because I got a level 3 one, right? Yeah, there you go. Solomon Snailfish, a new fish. 5 kilos. Okay, if we get a few fish down here, it's going to... Oh, we got these guys. And the... Wait, maybe my thing is actually good enough for this to be able to sleep. Come on. No, that's so bullshit. Okay, well, we're going to have to hit it with a level 1 fucking piece of shit item. That's fast. Boom. Oh, come on. Why? The, the range on this just doesn't... The animation is just not right. Look at that shit. It's fucking anim... It's like only the head you can hit with this. Oh, here we go. Nice, cookie cutter shark. More fragments. I'm just, I know I got a lot of this, but I think I can make a dish with this, right? Go sleepy. And then maybe we get a, I mean, I guess we, maybe we could get an upgrade kit from there. Oh, I'm already overweight, what the hell? Okay, well, that was quick to fill up my that's not what I needed. Boom, and now I don't got any more hush darts. But what is down here? Oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I got oxygen though, it's fine. <laughs> uh, I think this is the way out. Alright, we're gonna leave. We got we got what we came for here. Uh I just mostly wanted to further the quest. I really like how this game does both like the pacing is just like impeccable because it keeps you interested in like the main quest and in the meantime you kind of just accidentally play the game and then like even if you just do the main quest you'll just be moving forward at all times there's there's never like a moment where you're like uh what am i supposed to do am i just supposed to get more fish until my sushi restaurant like michelin star restaurant there's always just stuff to explore all right we're going up and then we get a deeper part uh bye you could come i mean i guess you don't want to be out of the water because then you're gonna die you know <laughs> that's how that works there we go hi there hmm the road back to the sea people village huh how fascinating my lab has developed some diving gloves to be used for retrieving artifacts i see could you let me pull out a stake without my hands slipping right 
Aha, uh -huh, of course. It has various safety measures built in that'll let you move many objects besides no. stakes. A long dive it must have been tiring. Get some rest. I'll explain the details uh -huh. tomorrow. I'll come back to the boat tomorrow morning. Oh, we get to do the restaurant. It's like my favorite part now. It's actually interesting how how <laughs> rare it is to do the restaurant. You spend by far most of your time fishing. Uh, we should also quickly check the fish farm. Yes, there's a fish farm now. How ridiculous. Um... But, uh, because I just saw the heart thingy. What's going on here? <laughs> Come on, just wait. Just wait a day. I thought it was already a day. I mean, it's been more than a few days for me. But I guess not in the video game. <laughs> so go back here. All right. Oh, hi there. A new VIP. I should also do some research because I forgot that. Also, it's funky ass music. Jazzy as hell. A uh, little kid we haven't opened up yet. This, this music reminds me of, uh... Persona 5, one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, hello, kid. Um, you look like a student. We haven't opened up yet. Come back a bit later. People are always surprised when I say, like, a specific game. Listen, you fucko. I heard you the one time, so stop babbling. I play, like, all kinds of games. Um, not just horror games. Not just relaxing fishing games. <laughs> what in the world? I'm sorry, it wasn't me. You run blowfish, you. Get me food. Food. What in the world is going on here? I think I've read about this somewhere. There's a therapy method that involves letting traumatized kids speak their minds through dolls. Dole, how dare you? You idiots don't deserve to live. I suppose it could be something more complicated. Let's ask what she wants first. Kombu and White Trevally. Ochazuke, I want it. I do. That sounds like something older men would want. I don't know what's going on, but we'll have to give her what she wants for us to try and have a conversation. Mm. Check the ingredients list, okay? Anywho, we need to do some research. Oh, we only have one more research to do. I guess I'll do that. I cutscene. I love the cutscenes. Have some water too. It is hot as hell. I need to stay hydrated. There we go. Striped red mullet. Tangle roll. 90 happiness. We need 125. Um. So we need to see my hands are it's a cut dense on the bottle. Makes my hands like I just washed them. Um, our staff is amazing, by the way. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's crazy. Uh, we should check the menu. Also, I could train if I have more money. So the way people said I should do this, which what is this is not People don't like this stuff. Uh, I could enhance it though. Which increases to 60. Oh, we get another cutscene. <laughs> this game is so aesthetic, man. Okay. Excuse me, sir. It's just fish. So how do people even get to our restaurant? Do they just walk along the beach, I guess? You made a masterpiece. Thank you. Oh, 60. That's actually crazy. So wait, 90? Okay. I think I'm gonna do just sell this for now. Uh, what is like, I can sort this, right? People were joking about this in the comments that I'm an idiot. Um, this is 100... Damn, how do I get a recipe that's like, this is 108, but it costs six to upgrade it. I guess we go, if we upgrade this again, it will be third. Okay, so if we get more white tip shark, this is 100, but that costs too much to upgrade. I think we're gonna go for that one. So if we can get some white tip reef shark meat, we can uh, upgrade it and then sell a few, or we can do this one. Actually, Titan. If I can upgrade this twice, this goes up to... Ah, oh, damn it. I mean, I guess we'll go for that as well. Okay, so now we have another one. If we get 22 Titan Triggerfish meat, we also could do that, but that's kind of difficult, but we'll see. Okay. And then, yeah, because everything else is not high enough. Let's do, unless we can keep upgrading this now. People do not like that. All right, let's sort it on pricing. So what people said I should do is put a single one on the menu and then 
How do I do this? Auto supply or something? How do I do that? People said I should enable. Oh, here. Auto supply. Auto supply the ingredients for this dish. Yes. Is this gonna work? People said I should do this, but this better work or I'm gonna get mad at random persons in the comments. <laughs> uh let's see cookie cutter shark i mean i guess we do no these are, i just throw all three on there just in case this does not work we'll at least get some money because we'll be able to sell three of that we'll be able to sell this for sure right because it's 85 happiness people are gonna love that stuff um 31 of the does this shit upgrade it for sure wait upgrade it again 100 happiness wait a minute maybe we can get yes Let's go. 125 is what we needed. Okay, there we go. So now we throw this on here. Um, I just throw everything on there. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, we'll just test with this one if it works. And then uh, we'll use that strategy from now on if it does work. And then we have this one. But I, I could actually have five of this. Sure. Five. And then... Look at my menu, man. It's crazy. And then we'll do this one. Upgrade it a bit. Hang tooth. Upgrade it like twice. I guess we just do all of these because it's only level bad. Uh, this looks very yummy. I'm just going to throw this on here. It looks yummy. Okay, there we go. We got we got a recipe. Let's uh, do it. Oh, yeah, she need, what does she need? You need help. So, oh, wait. We need some soy sauce and a white trevally. I almost can make this. <laughs> I just need one more white trevally, which this is what they look like. Okay, that's what they look like. I remember seeing those. We'll be fine. Um, okay, did I not just waste? I guess I can't take them off anyway. All right, open the sushi place. Here we go. Now, everyone's going to do my... I don't even have to work, really. I just mostly got to do the... I can't give you this yet, lady. I just mostly got to do this stuff. For the tips. Oh no, they all want it. Boom. I get like one dollar for doing this. I don't even know if this is worth it, but I guess people get mad if I don't. Dude, you guys are insatiable. Dish. Nice. Right, I'll make some... Look how fast everything is going. It's crazy. I don't... I got apparently really lucky with the servers I got. Like, I got some extremely good servers on my first hire. Uh, which made my restaurant go sicko mode. And boom. It's overflowing, but it's fine. It's good. It was overflowing too much. Oh, I gotta give you beer. Because you this sells for like 30 or something if I get this. I think I'll probably stop early. No. Bad? I guess I... <laughs> What? Wait, how does this... Pour about 20? Oh, so that about 20% of it is foam. Oh, wait, what? What the fuck? Why do you pull it up so... I don't understand beer, dude. I don't drink. Oh, I thought I just did like a danger sign. Holy shit, we make a lot of money. Not as much as our the one night we got, but still, this is really good. Did this work, by the way? It did not work. Did it work? Wait. Oh my god, that was literally the exact same day as before. And we did this, 125. Um, good stuff. Like, I don't know why when you're pouring the beer, it lifts, it makes the cup go straight so fast. Because don't you want to have it uh, <laughs> sideways so you get less foam? Dave, the fish in the farm yesterday, they multiplied. Hurry over to the fish farm. Okay, here we go. Uh, I should also check if it worked because I wasn't actually, actually paying any attention at all to if it worked. <laughs> I've marked the section with new fish with hearts so they are easy to recognize. Go and see for yourself. Oh my God. Oh wait, so it did work. I, I It just didn't show me like you got a fish egg, but I got many new fish. Show details. Wow, the mysterious, mysteries of nature never cease to amaze. Amaze me. I'll tell you once the eggs hatch. Mark them with hearts if they've multiplied. Speaking of eggs, I'm reminded of my son who I haven't seen in a long time. You have a son? 
It was a windy and rainy day. I went too far out on my ship and the storm flipped my ship over. I haven't been able to go back to see my son since. I didn't know that. All right, I'll come by often to check. Thanks to you, Otto, I'll feel much less pressure to catch fish. Uh, if you have two or more of the same kind of fish, there's a chance for baby fish. Okay. What's in here? Okay, we got a new fish. I see. Density, total owned. How much is the density on this one? Only 36. Okay, so we have a lot of space. And we have a lot of these because these we have to... Like, uh, okay, cool. So I'm just going to leave these here to multiply for now. Uh, and we're just going to keep doing our thing. It's ridiculous, huh? <laughs> There was a heart. There's a heart in here, you say, but there's only one fish. How's that possible? Or is it? Huh? Oh, it just shows the new fish. Look at that little. Look at that little dude. This is gonna be a busy place, right? Show the details. Look at that. The, wait, we got a shark. What? How did that happen? <laughs> Let's go. Damn. I thought that was like a barracuda or something. We got a shark. I don't even. How's that possible? Anyway, whatever. Um, okay, so we got the diving gloves now? Or no, he's gonna tell us. He's gonna tell us about it, right? Yeah, there he comes. Hi there, buddy. Here, these are special diving gloves made in our research facility. With these, you'll be able to pick up various objects in the water. Why don't you test them out yourself? Enter the water. I'll enter the water, but first... I gotta check if I can get any upgrades with the money, you piece of shit. <laughs> Dang it. That's like the only, like there's two things, right? The the deep sea felt a little empty, which I guess is the way the deep sea is meant to be. And then the other thing is sometimes it feels a little railroaded. It's like it's trucking you along on the main storyline. Oh, we can pick these up ourselves. First grab a pile of rocks over there and dropping it. That's weak wood, so you'll be able to break through. Let's go, okay. And there are these rocks. I understand. Whee! Very nice. Let's try going down. Uh, what the heck? We gotta be careful of this. Oh, come on. The current is strong. Grab that anchor so it won't sweep you away. Oh, what? I see. Okay. <laughs> Good, you can grab onto object like that anchor anchor yourself that'll come in handy in places with strong currents okay oh i see something shiny back there grab the stake and pull that's not gonna kill me oh, ah. oh god the freaking dead by daylight quick time event i didn't get crushed there luckily Awesome, since the path is open, grab the treasure up top before coming up. Oh, this is just a short tutorial? Oh, okay, it was just a short tutorial. Never mind then. I thought it was gonna force me to do a fishing trip. Looks like Dr. Ba Bacon left abruptly again after finishing his explanation. In any case, these diving gloves look like they could come in very handy. Why do people keep punning me? I heard the sea people are waiting for you. Go down there and try pulling out the stake. Okay. Um, it's still morning. Now we get to check. We have maybe some new weapons. I really want to upgrade the hard start. Um, can I? I can. Okay, nice. So we do that. Start off with... The, oh, God. Anime man. <laughs> so fucking stupid. <laughs> New weapon. There we go. Uh, can we do another one? Now we need a bunch of fragments. Okay, we need a lot of fragments. And then we can upgrade it. Sure. We'll, we'll look for that. Alright, and then can we upgrade anything? We cannot. We would really like this or this one. This shit's getting ridiculously expensive. Right, we're just going to save our money for now. And go down. I don't think I need to do it. Maybe I need to do some Eco Watcher. Yeah, this. I mean, I, you don't need to do this every time. I just want to do it because it's fun. Um, and then we need a bunch of... We need just everything down there. Just pick up everything and it'll eventually... You'll, you'll get some stuff. Alrighty. You can also just skip time. <laughs> I guess if you really want to do more sushi stuff. 
which I haven't done because I like playing these games like somewhat optimally, not skipping time. Makes it more satisfying. We get more black vinegar. And we can pick up those. Uh, oops, is this going to be an upgrade kit? That's not what I want. Um, or we can pick up those sea star or sea spiky thingies. Wherever they are. And then we need to tr look for a trevally, right? That's all we needed. The hammer. So. Doesn't do much damage. So apparently you can use this to put even the largest fish to sleep. If you just like are persistent enough. I don't think I'm going to do that. Nice. More black vinegar. I would really like an upgrade kit. I think three is the highest. No, that's a your gun. Where are these? I think they're further down. Well, there's the shark we need. I mean, we don't need it anymore, but they'll want it. Hey there, sharky boy. You are so stupid. Go. Damn, it is... You did the animation after you shoot is so slow. There he goes. They're so light, actually. If you compare this to, like, the stuff you find in the deep sea, stuff weighs nothing. Okay, where, are the, where are the Trevallis? Or however the fuck you pronounce that. So I haven't gotten you really ever. Nor... You, oh, come on, you idiot. Oh, sleepy. Elski grouper. A grouper, I know those. Upper is, I think, needed for some weapon upgrades. Oh, boy. He does it again. I thought it really mattered. You can see the oxygen bar behind me, right? Just a little bit more detail. I think they're deep down here. Also, what is this guy? But I can carry four ammo here. That's really nice. Let's get some of these. Why? I mean, these are probably gonna just never sell because they're so ass. They're so heavy too. What the fuck? Nine kilos? Goodness gracious, these things are heavy. I should have probably looked up where I can find Trevally instead of just hoping I'd randomly stumble upon them. Like, it's not a very good plan. Uh, that's just not it. That's a big boy, though. You gonna fall asleep? Yes. Hey. What? Question mark? What does this mean? I can't... What? What was that? Are you camping the... Up? <laughs> I don't understand. What the fuck? Oh, there they are. Look at these. Nice. Oh, my God. Help. What the frick? Goodness gracious. Everyone's out to kill me. I somehow missed, even though I obviously hit. Like, what the fuck? My brother in Christ, leave me alone. I'm just here to fish. Come here! Go away! Okay, we need these guys. A lot of them. This, this special fish, like whenever you, I mean, I guess we can't really sell much of it. Whenever you get a special fish from one of these people, you should try and make as much of it as possible because that shit sells like hotcakes. Eh? And they probably put a lot of Trevallis here because they knew this was going to happen. So we need to make, it, make advantage of this. Also, I really should get this oxygen. I'm full. I have so many useless fish. Let's get rid of some of them. Um, I would say... Fuck, oh, man. Why is this shit so heavy? Nine... Key, but it's five meat per. And it's level five. I guess we get rid of these two. They're like a little higher up. Oxygen first. Hello there. Is there more? 
I want more. Orchard Valley, there you are. Convenient mark. Could obviously sleep these for a little bit extra meat, but it is fine. Okay, I'm happy again. Let's just go down now. I think we got it all. Right there. I really wonder. Was that just because we were like on top of I'm just I just want to see. Was it because we were on top of like an escape pod that it didn't work or is there some weird shit going on here i what does this mean what is this icon i don't understand that is weird maybe i need like a special upgrade to be able to do that i should really make that clear i guess they don't expect you to do all the stuff that i'm doing right now Maybe, I don't know. Oop. Oh boy, we need a UV light first. Where the hell are those? In this place. Oh, geez, we're almost there. I think we need these orange ones as well. Yes. Right, give me UV light. Thank you. Reticent girl. I don't even know what half these words mean, man. I'm looking for fingerprints. I don't know why they made this guy so annoying. I guess this game, like, does not take itself seriously at all. It's just, like, half the appeal. But that guy is very annoying. All right, here we go. Are they in trouble? Is that a pile of rocks moving around? Oh, excuse me? Is there a crab under there? Oh, it's the octopus again. Hi there, little buddy. Don't ink me. Wait, is, oh, it's this guy that was super annoying before. And we go underneath there as well. Octopus from last time. It's spraying ink again. I won't let you get away this time. Just wait. Octopus returns. Get this. Might as well quickly see if there's an oxygen can in here because that's going to make me feel a little safer. Thank you. I like that they put shells down here instead of like the oxygen tanks just to feel it, make it feel more... Uh, more realistic that in the deep sea there's not many man-made structures Whee. oh you need to do it multiple times i am so fucking slow and bam great the path is clear just wait you octopus hey there Hey, how dare you spray me with ink twice? I would let you get away with this. Ask Boncho for Takoyaki, excuse me. You can't say that, sir. It's but a, it's but a tiny octopus. I guess I've been killing everything. It leaves, every time it gives me something though. Man, that's a strong octopus. What the fuck? It ran away and it's definitely quick. Mm, it dropped something again. It always leaves something behind. It might not be as bad as I thought. Exactly. It's a nice octopus. What is this? It seems to be an artifact. I'll have to identify it back at the surface. Okay, cool. Uh, we need to go this way. We gotta take a shortcut here again. Oh no, I need to... F God damn it, I need to go through. All the way around so I get the shortcut. Hey there, I, I'm gonna kill you one of these times. I'm gonna get like a crazy weapon. There's gonna be some mission with that creature for sure. You already know it. Uh, I guess I'll shoot you with this. Stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away. No, 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 I'm gonna get... Fuck! What the hell? <laughs> so annoying. Oh, I'm even slower. 
It's fine. After this, we're just gonna leave, right? I'm always overweight, man. That's like the problem. Got 80 kilos worth of shit. We need these, right? Oh no, we can't pick anything up. Hi there, I'm back. I'm gonna pull this thing out. Oh, you're back, human. I was afraid you've been eaten by a frilled shark on the way back. She talks like someone I know. I think I'll be able to pull out the steak if I use the diving gloves from Mr. Bacon. Bacon, haha. <laughs> In our language, that sounds like spoiled will meat. Haha. <laughs> um, okay, wait a moment. Let me try and pull. Dude, Suam, I hate you. You're annoying as fuck. We're gonna break our depth record here. Whole time. I need to do like a. Yeah, there. Easy. Oh, God. You're gonna get crushed! Oh, boy. <laughs> Damn, that's extremely dangerous. We made it even worse! Are you kidding me? <laughs> we only made it worse. It was effective, but not enough. Mm. I think one more attempt might cut it. There's another rock pile over there. Oh. There's no movable device there. I have to go check it out first. Oh, it's gonna be on the top, huh? Take out the rock pile. Can the octopus help me? Dang it. Maybe I gotta go all the way around because it's gonna be on the other side, probably. Who even put these stakes here? It's gonna be on the other side, right? There's nothing that can be done on this side. I have to go check around back. You got that. All right, I'm going to drop some fish because I don't want to be this slow. Uh, let's drop the... Sure, we'll drop... The... No, but I kind of want to check out what that's all about. Oh my God, these are so heavy. Holy schmoly. I'm going to drop that... Whatever, I'll drop the... I'll drop these guys. They're just too heavy. They're just too damn heavy. Okay, and now I can move way faster. Let's really tell me I can go around this way. Can't have any of you guys. Go away. I come in peace. I don't think this is the way to get around. Maybe it is. It seems to be pretty balanced. Like there's not one specific type of fish that is just like far OP compared to everything else. Leave me alone, leave me alone. No! I want this. It might be salt. It's not salt, but it m might have been. I don't know if a pickaxe. Oh, and now I just drop... Alright, whatever. You go. I just drop this on top of it. Oh, I'm so much faster. Holy shit. No, no, no. No, 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 no. How did that hit me? <laughs> what the fuck? There's a steak. Let's go. How the fuck did that hit me? I'm gonna have to use this real quick. Wait. Uh, this. You can't reach. You can't reach me. Mini game. I want to play more Dead by Daylight. By the way. You. You want to see that? Let me know. Because uh, people really seem to enjoy the Dead by Daylight video. I would love to do some like off-stream Dead by Daylight. And do like killer adventure survivor adventure and just see because i'm only gonna be low mmr for a little bit <laughs> and i want to enjoy it while it lasts because once i get high mmr again it's gonna be awful wow human good we have a path you're more useful than you look why are you guys so the village is very close coming through the hole you just made i'll go ahead wait i can leave now can't i would you listen to yourself? Aren't you worried for Ramo? I don't even know who the fuck you are. Besides, I have a request for you, so I would like you to come to the village with us. The sea people, village, me, are they gonna be like, what, do you wanna marry me or some bullshit like that? Yes, there's a reason I came all the way up to the human sea. I have a request. Oh, okay. Like they're gonna, they're gonna pull something on me. I'm gonna do some weird shit. We're gonna break the depth record. Here we go. Boom. Oh my god. I thought that was gonna be like a giant open. I'm getting real spooky vibes. Is it gonna be a big fish? 
Oh my god, that's a big boy! <laughs> Something just moved past me. Human, uh, go on ahead and be our lookout. But it's so dark. I feel like there might be something dangerous there. Uh oh god, that was large. That was extremely large. I'm glad I got rid of my... Okay, I'll go this way. I don't have any more oxygen. It's right here. You sense a cre dangerous creature's presence. Enter. I don't even need, I only have a freaking... Sure, whatever. <laughs> only have a hush dart. You better give me another weapon. Deep sea cave. Uh oh. What is this? Why is there debris like this so deep? Gonna... Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no, those vibrations again. Something has to be here. Are you blind? Why did he tell me to come alone? Boom, push me. Oh, hi there. Oh, hi there. <laughs> oh my god. Wolf eel? What is that? There are wolf eels this big? I don't think I can run. Oh, whatever. I don't have any weapon. I got a level one. Help. He's gonna eat. Okay. What the fuck, brother? Oh, there's stuff down here. Yes! Okay. Give me this. Give me this. I need some actual weapon. Oh, hi. No! Wait, he didn't hit me. Okay, goodness gracious. This guy is scary. Okay, he's coming out of there. Shoot him. Oh, no! What the fuck? My brother. What am I supposed to do? It looks really tough. The shining spot on his tail, it looks weaker than the rest of his body. There we go. I should shoot with this. No, okay. Whoops, that's fine though. Okay, we gotta just avoid him. How do you grab, how do you grab? Oh, it worked, okay. I don't even know, I, I'm i stupid. How do you grab? You right click, okay. I'm swinging, I'm swinging, I'm swinging, I'm swinging. I'm swinging. Go away. Whee! <laughs> this game is wild, man. Hold it. Get away. Okay. I didn't dodge it. Are you serious? Okay, he's gonna get stuck. Shoot him. Oh. He did so much damage. Never mind. Oh, he just leaves once you do enough damage. Can I please hold this? Thank you. Great work. This is like one of the most, it's one of the most interesting games I've ever played. Like I've never played a game where the mechanics like hour by hour are so different. Like you'll be doing, like you think you start, oh nice. You think, you, oh come on. You start off with a simple fishing game where you just like sell some sushi and then it just slowly devolves into some insane adventure. Easy peasy. I'm insane with it. <laughs> Let's go. A feet wolf eel. How can a wolf eel be so big? Um, I was just about to come and defeat it. I guess I came too late. You're stronger than I expected, human. Now you see that big gate over there? That's the entrance to the village. Take the lead, human. Human. Oh, I wanna, I wanna get some meat first. It's gonna be heavy, huh? Boom. Oh, yes. Rank 99, Kilo 1. Wolf Eel Gill. Oh, it just disappears instantly. <laughs> Excuse me. What the fuck? The entrance. Have you guys never noticed these giant sea creatures in front of your door? You, we are finally back to the village entrance passageway. Ramo, you have the key, right? Oh no, I left the key back at the... Just kidding. <laughs> okay, Jesus Christ. You, I thought you'd ask me to take you again. Let's insert the key and get back to the village. Oh boy.
That's very bright, excuse me. Oh my god! <laughs> that is crazy looking! What the fuck? Wow, so this is... Ah, uh, that's right, this is the Sea People Village we live in. I think there will be a place like this under the sea. Oh. Wait! How did a human get in here? Ramo and Suam, are you kidnapped by this human? Denzin awaits you. He's lost sleep worrying about you. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. Allow me. I rescued Ramo after she was kidnapped by a squid. Forget it. Just take me to my father. It'll be faster for me to explain things to him. Okay, I'm just a- I'm just a guy. We're we gonna ding the bell? The dolphin train or something? One the actual hell is <laughs> is going on here. I got an achievement, discovered the undersea village. Enzin house. Hi there. Excuse <laughs> me. Oh my goodness, Ramo, my daughter. Where were you, my precious girl? Your daddy, your daddy was worried out of his wits. Are you hurt? Did the humans do something to you, my daughter? Wait, who is this next to you? I thought you'd brought a blue manatee, but this is a human. What is going on here? I'd like an explanation. You know that strange things have been happening around here recently, right? For example, the tremors and the ice melting off the divine tree. Of course, Remo, I've been looking into the cause. It's already been two years. You know our technology has its limits. Well, well, the ancient texts have all been lost and we need to figure out new methods again. You can't simply keep waiting, father. Humans are selfish, but they have good technology. We need their help. No, not the humans. They can't be trusted. They dirtied our home and even hunted our kind to put it on display. They're wicked creatures looking to hunt us and steal from us. We can't ally with the likes of... Oh. Uh, is he gonna die? Just falling debris? No. Another huge tremor. See, something really bad will happen if we don't do anything. Um, hmm. When I was taken by the squid, giant squid in human waters. Dave here helped me out. Wum said he was the one who did that earlier. Try asking him. Not all humans can be bad, can they? I mean, well, even even if I wanted this, the villagers wouldn't agree. Getting help from humans, everyone would find that hard to believe. This man can gain the villagers' trust. I'll consider your suggestion. It's going to be a classic, like, <laughs> two, three quests in the vi It's like a fucking Skyrim quest over here, dude. Mm-hmm, the villagers' trust. How does he go about winning that? I would ask... This is actually... <laughs> All right, since today's trip must have been pretty tiring. Even come back here tomorrow. You have to listen to the villagers' request. But I didn't even agree yet. How am I supposed to come all the way here? A request from this chapter three. All right. Mm, since you say you helped my daughter, Ramo, I suppose it wouldn't be fitting for people to ignore your needs, even if you're a human. Use this. What is this? It looks like an ordinary mirror. This sea people mirror, once installed, will let you instantly travel to this village. Oh, such a thing is possible? The various disasters have caused our decline, but our ancestors were a very adv advanced civilization once. Right now, all we have left is a few of their relics, sadly, classic. In any case, installing this in your village will allow you to come to this village when you need. It will recognize your face, so only you'll be able to use it. It also operates the light of the divine tree of the sun, so you can only use it during the day. Oh, and I'll ke give you a village map to use. It'll help you find the villagers. Hmm, a teleportation device. That's pretty amazing. I have to go back to the boat with this mirror for now. Are we just going to be sent there? I hope. Not actually have to go all the way back. Luckily, I fill up my whole thing with, with meat. There you go. Nice. We went the deepest yet. We got some cool stuff. Biggest fish. <laughs> Giant wolf eel. Yep, I would say so. Take a screenshot of that bad boy. And we got all this stuff. We got... Oh, there it says. We got the row. The eggs. Okay, so it just shows up in the inventory without, like, popping up on the screen. Cool, cool. Let me get this. 
Octopus weapon charm. A mysterious charm left by Octopus. Maybe something cool will happen if it is attached to a gun. Extra gun base damage added? That seems good. Fishies are having fun. Wait, let me see. Wait, there's already some kind of mail is here. Should I check it out? Wait. What? I swear we went in the morning and it skipped us all the way to the end of the night? Didn't we? Wasn't that the first trip of the day? What the hell happened? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I gotta check my... Okay, I guess I have to check my mail. Uh, jello, jellyfish party. Blue hole tourism committee. Hello, residents. We have finally launched a tourism committee to promote the newly discovered mysterious blue hole. Our first event, the jellyfish party, will be held in three days. If you know any of the restaurants that can serve jellyfish dishes to match the theme, please spread the word. Okay. We know that. We we are I we are a professional at jellyfish restaurant or jellyfish food. I've been doing a ton of that. Can I please open this shit? Oh, a party. What a nice looking picture. Mm. I guess they're trying to open this place for tourism. I just hope it doesn't get too chaotic. Oh, it's a party held on a special day. We just need to prepare for more customers. Mill said the party's theme was jellyfish. Jellyfish dishes should be popular. Okay, we have three days. Make sure to get some jellyfish, whatever kind it may be. Let's hit the jackpot. Uh, special customers arrive during events. Prepare the dishes they like in advance so you hit the jackpot. Special customer... Yeah, you already said that. Cool, cool. So I guess I'll install the Sea People mirror on the boat. He said I could... Go to the Sea People Village with this thing during the day, right? I should go tomorrow. Oh, no, look at the time. Bonsha Shushi must have opened already. I should drop by and check if anything of note happened. Did they make any money? Do I only get money when I'm, like, actively there to make sure that people don't steal from me? Um, looks like I arrived too late. I should do a little cleanup. I got nothing for this day, excuse me. I got scammed. Hi there. Hey, Miss Joshi, what are you doing here? Oh, my work ended just now, and I was passing by. I saw the lights were on, despite the hour. Banjo seems to have gone home already. He looked a bit tired recently. I'm wor worried he might fall ill. Even so, I'm glad to see him working so hard again like this. Well, come to think of it, I heard he once gave up cooking because of a certain accident. Yes, back then, I thought he was gone for good. I wonder what it was about. <laughs> well, it's nothing that secretive. I simply avoided mentioning it with him present, just in case it's still a sore spot for Boncho. I'm thirsty. Can you serve me a glass of beer? Oh, God. I'm going to fuck it up. I still don't know how to do the beer thing. How do you do this? Because I'm just holding S and like the... Like, do I... If I let go there, it likes bad. Do I just have to keep overflowing it? I don't understand. Is that how beer works? You just waste a lot of it? Nothing so refreshing as a glass of beer after work. It's especially nice to have a view of the sea at night like this as I drink. I'll tell you now a bit about Banshee and why he quit cooking for a while. It was 12 years ago. Not seen time? Yep. <laughs> it's gonna be like him with full hair, like an, uh, an afro, I'm telling you right now. This is the Dugong Hotel. I worked here 12 years ago. It's a five-star hotel with both tradition and a long history. It looks a bit old, yes, but at the time, the quality of the food and service had been newly improved. Joshi, do you have a moment? What is it, manager? Well, a troublesome customer has left a reservation. A troublesome customer? You know the actress, Louis Crawford? She made a reservation at our hotel. Louis Crawford? What am I doing? Uh, Louis Crawford. Let's just ask about the hotel first. Our Dung Ho go 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 <laughs> Our Dugong Hotel is a luxury hotel with many years of history and tradition. In the past, we had nobles saying, staying in our accommodation, and many notable films were shot here. Many people seeking that sort of old era nostalgic nostalgia used our services, and we had very high standards for the services we provided. Manager? The manager had spent his entire life at the hotel. It was like he was a living embodiment of its history. He had a lot of knowledge about the eti etiquette used by the upper class of each country, and he was very used to servicing those of high rank. Many VIPs sought, sought his service. Louis Crawford. Louis Crawford, she was a leading actress with a long career. Her role as a spy in one of her most famous work, The second, 42nd Floor, 
was extremely impressive. She appears to have hit a hot, slight slump as her new movies haven't been doing very well. I've heard that Louis Crawford can be very picky, but we are a very high quality hotel with history and tradition on our side. I don't think there will be any issue if she comes. Aha, uh -huh, so there is it. There it is. Nobody can beat the level of service and staff at this hotel. You've won many prizes as well. Just one thing. You haven't heard the rumors about her, have you? Rumors? Take a look at this. This is... She's famous not only as a chef, but a gourmet. That's a blurb she published in a travel magazine recently. It appears to be a description of her travels, but it's like just her bashing on the hotel she stayed at. Gloria hotels are the best of the best, and yet she wrote such a scathing review. Bringing up the bad does make a person look more professional. Her writing is mostly like this. What do you suggest we do, Yashi? Accept a reservation. We got this. I suppose we can't refuse the reservation if only for the hotel's reputation's sake. In that case, we'll have to think about how we serve her. We'll take the reservation, but also need to think of ways to satisfy her. I suppose you're right. Do you have any ideas, Joshi? Um, our, our hotel's strengths are our long history and tradition, as well as our high quality service. The way we can satisfy her will involve making good use of these things. Did she reserve a suite? Yes, it's a suite. We'll need to clean rooms and services that match her taste. We'll treat her as a VIP. I'll look into the drinks and amenities she prefers and place them as I also check on the state of the rooms. And about who will receive her, I suppose I'll have to do that. Thank you. There's no one that can handle such a tricky customer except you with your long experience with many VIPs. I'm more tense than usual. And about the meals, we can offer her the buffet for breakfast, but we'll also need to ready a dinner course. The dinner at our hotel, Italian or French? I mean, you just serve her like some pizza? <laughs> Our hotel provides Italian food like bistro and an a la carte style. We serve pasta or pizza with a simple wine. The chef learned to cook in Naples and his margarita pizza was good, but it didn't really go well with the dinner course. Okay. Japanese, of course. Well, let's click French first before we click Japanese. We have fantastic French food at our hotel. It's a pride and joy of Dugong Hotel with a Michelin starred head chef at the helm. But you came at the most inconvenient time. Our head chef is in France on a culinary research trip. The sous chef has taken his place for now and he cooks wonderfully as well. However, our upcoming customer is a very difficult one. Japanese. The Gung Hotel Japanese food has never been its strong suit. We only served udon or simple donburi. We've been making exponential progress, however, after we hired Boncho, we've grown quite dramatically. Boncho is famous for his ability to reinterpret the use of ingredients, and his food was recently featured in an overseas magazine. He might be our dark horse. That means Japanese is likely to be our best choice. Boncho hasn't really proven himself yet. Do you think it'll be all right? Hmm, Boncho's skill is indisputable, however. One draw great drawback is that he doesn't consider the preferences of his customers. His sole focus is letting people try new flavors. That is what drives his creativity, of course, but this time it won't really serve us. We're dealing with the fa infamous Louis Crawford, after all. I see, that's a good point. However, I think the best we can do right now is to try and persuade Boncho. I agree. Best of luck, Yashi. Oh, baby. Boncho. Okay, he, d <laughs> he does have hair. I would assume they would go for the insane version of it. <clears throat> Boncho, are you here? Miss Yashi, what are you doing here? Oh, you're here. That's good. I've come to check out the st on the status of the manager's request. L look all you want. It's an ordinary Japanese food kitchen. Boncho was a peculiar man. He suddenly appeared one day, handing us a resume and explaining he'd been learning in Japan. All the sushi establishment listed in his resume were top tier, but Boncho never stayed at one place too long. He told me that he moved on each time after learning enough. The manager had a long talk with him and then left the operation of the Japanese food team to him. He could always be found in the kitchen, busy with something, day in, day out. He researched food on his own when there were no customers. He hated to be interrupted. Were you practicing? Well, yes. Training means thousands and tens of thousands of attempts. Practice without rest is the only way to produce meaningful results. I see. I heard you never skip research and practice, Bancho. It relieves me to see you so hard at work. What do you mean you're relieved? Boncho, would you be willing to try and servicing a VIP? Servicing a VIP? That's right, we have an important guest who will increase our reputation, or rather, who might send it plummeting to the ground. 
Her name is Louis Crawford. She's an actress that's infamously hard to please. It's also a gourmet reviewer. It's been about a year since you joined the Dugong Hotel. Our Japanese food team, which was never very strong, received much attention in a short span of time. Um, and we can't deny that your contribution to this was great. However, this means we also get customers who want special treatment. So you mean to say that I should try and please this picky woman, Louis Crawford? Yes, she... This is important, as Dugong's hotel repu hotel's reputation lies in the balance. Hmm, what do you say? For me, cooking has always been a battle with myself, not with others. Making perfect food has always been my goal, and that won't change no matter who I cook for. I simply use the best ingredients available in the current season and the most suitable recipe. Will that be okay with you? Alright, we'll leave the individual dishes in your hand, Boncho. However, I would like to offer input on the method of servicing our guests. Alright, you're the expert, Miss Yashi, when it comes to servicing food. Um... The type of menu to employ, sushi, obviously. A sushi course varies, offers various kinds of sushi in a certain order, with a few side dishes interspersed in between. It allows us to use sushi to allow customers to try many types of fish. What do you think of the sushi course? It's also your specialty. I'm very familiar with the method, however, don't you think it'll be too ordinary? If we choose to go with this, we'll likely use tuna sushi, pike eel sushi, or olive flounder sushi as the main dish. Olive flounder being in season right now. That won't be very impressive, however. Hmm, alright. Since it's to be a dinner, I think a course would be better than a single dish. It means... That means I'd probably be better to employ a western course format instead. Though it'll be a bit different from the traditional method, I think I should could add soup and or the douvre sashimi hell dude these fucking french words are disgusting what is this a d apostrophe and fucking whatever that is side dishes sushi tempura and dessert to the course what do you think not bad so what will you make for each dish there's the soup to begin with okay a few minutes later dude, this is so unexpected yes i think it'll be that'll be fine up do the sushi. Tempura is next. I suppose shrimp should be the most logical choice. Hmm, it's difficult to create any impact with shrimp. We've kept everything pretty normal so far, so this is where we add a little spice. I love shrimp! I've been researching this very topic. How does someone like this sound? You must have a good idea. Let's hear it. Shark! Shark. Sorry, I'm covering up the text, by the way. It's just the way it is. I'm thinking of a dish that uses a shark head. What a shark? Can sharks be eaten? Sharks are a very tasty fish. This is the time of year when they grow fat, boosting their flavor. The meat in the cheeks is particular, particular has a lovely chewy texture, which reminds you of both ordinary meat and fish. But sharks is too exotic of an ingredient. Couldn't we use something a little more widely consumed? Especially considering this is Louis Crawford. Good food will impress anyone. Anyone who takes a bite will recognize the food for what it is. It is the best possible food that can be found around here in the current season. Hmm, I'll give it some thought. I'm not sure if it'll be okay. I can't help but think it's not that great of an idea, Boncho. If you serve that dish and things go sideways, the consequences won't affect you alone. Both the manager and I will also take part of the blame. After all, she's coming to the Dugong Hotel, not a restaurant operated by you. A hotel must seek to provide the most restful and enjoyable experience to its guests. Nothing can be allowed to mar that experience, as the hotel will stand to lose by it. But there's no guarantee she'll hate it. She'll know from taking just a bite that it's one of the greatest foods. There's always an exception to the rule. She's an extremely picky person, after all. What a pity. I understand. I'll go with shrimp tempura, then. Though it can't compare to shark. Okay. <clears throat> and then she's gonna be like, I wish I had shark! <laughs> Hi there. This way, Miss Crawford. Thank you. This is the chef who will be preparing your food today, Boncho. Well, we're Boncho. Hmm. He's younger than I expected. I was hoping for a slightly more experienced chef. Damn. Oh my, tight-lipped, are we? Perhaps my looks leave you at a loss for words. Eh heh heh. Ah ha ha, he seems a little tense. He's quite a skilled chef, I assure you. We're we looking forward to the food then. I remember the service here being quite all right for an old hotel. I like the carpet and the paintings on the walls, as well as the furnishing at Gloria Hotel have a kitsch quality to them that I don't like. To think there's no gym, that's a bit of a shocker. I need to exercise daily to maintain my figure. 
was our intention to stay that your stay be as restful as possible everyone has their preferred way of resting well the bathing facilities were good so i'll content myself with that but what's for dinner a japanese course course meal here's the course menu the first dishes are i don't know dude steamed i'm just gonna go from the top steamed snapper and yam soup this is a steamed dish composed of grilled snapper and roe which was then steam gar steamed garnish with ground yam the soup features the rich flavor of fish hmm is that a japanese soup it's got a bland flavor compared with the spicy scent quite interesting that is the flavor of the shishimi there is a tiny bit of flavoring provided by a con condiment made from seven different spices and the next dish is two minutes later so the tempura and dessert are left what's the tempura don't tell me it's shrimp the sort that's commonly served the rice uh the dessert's no doubt the usual fruit i suppose i've tasted basically everything it's hard to decipher her reaction have we succeeded how do you like it are you happy with our japanese food well it's about as good as i expected it to be i suppose i suppose i could come here to eat every now and then but why bother coming to a hotel to eat food that's quite average uh-oh ah ha ha even so i'm sure our food is better than mo than that of most other restaurants the snapper soup or something was pretty interesting but that's it it was just a fishy soup with a spicy aftertaste the thing you added sticky yam on top Ugh! i didn't like the texture Oh dear, it seems like Japanese food isn't all that to your liking. Ignorant of the fact we served you Japanese. My mistake. Please accept my apologies. Whatever, it wasn't that good, but it was healthy at least. This hotel doesn't even have a gym, so I suppose the food should be healthy at the very least. Ha. Um, may I have a word? Boncho. Allow me to introduce myself again. I am the master chef who works here, Boncho. I'm not that much of a speaker, so I've listened quietly. I find it impossible to maintain my silence now, however. <laughs> Oh my, do you have something to tell me? Apparently you're supposed to have better food than anywhere else, right? Now, now, Boncho, Miss Louie here is just... It is most definitely my fault for failing to provide food that satisfies you. Will you not give me a chance to make up for my mistake? What? Oh well, gosh, I'm a very busy woman. What, do you witness, what you witness today aren't my real skills. I serve you food that can objectively be called good. Boncho, you can't really be talking about... Hmm, so you're saying you have something else you think will satisfy me? All right, I'll wait, but remember, my time is valuable. So your food had better be amazing. Boncho, you can't be thinking of... What is it, Miss Yashi? Is there something I'm missing? All done. This is whole roasted shark head. It looks fucking disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is... You fried the whole head? It's amazing. It's an amazing dish. The meat in the cheeks has been cut out. I chose to fry the head whole to preserve the supple texture. You'll never taste something like this anywhere else. It's high quality dish made using the best possible ingredients. Get that out of my sight. How can you call this food? What are you saying? Take just a bite. I guarantee you'll be transported to heaven. I am not happy about this. This is what the service is like at the Dugong Hotel. It is my fault. I'll apologize. Now, Bansho Yashi, you apologize as well. I'm sorry, Miss Louie. I should have been more vigilant. Looks are not all there is to food. Why do you refuse to even try it? Boncho, this isn't the time to... I find this highly unpleasant. Is this some kind of hidden camera prank or a punishment? You'll pay for treating me this way. Don't think I'll let you get away with it. I'm leaving. Cancel my suite. Charge me a cancellation fee if you wish. I don't care. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I see what happened. I see. I see. After that, Boncho quit his job at the hotel and left, saying he needed to train. It's my belief that he wasn't so much the cooking itself as the ingredients and cooking methods that he researched. Mm. I see. Still, I admire him for not giving up on the belief that he's going on the right path. I suppose it was the stubborn side of him that allowed him to attain his current mm. level of skill. Working with you now, he even started social media. I feel something has changed about him, and I like it. I think you're good for him. Please continue to get along. I'll do my best to help Boncho focus on his cooking. Alrighty, we got a friend. I see, and that that's why it was so significant that he served Shark to the other VIP, and the VIP loved it. And the other one didn't even give it a chance. Hello. Hello. 
Oh, Dave, you weren't... Oh, wait, no, she he gave it to her, didn't he? He gave it to her, and then she went like, Oh my god, this is crazy. You weren't around yesterday, so I was a bit worried. I couldn't get in touch with you via radio mm. either. I was at the Sea People Village yeah, yesterday. You, you what? What happened? Mm. Oh, you see. Can you explain? Mm. Oh, you're sick. Mm. <laughs> this game has so many different ways of storytelling. <laughs> I see. I envy you. I do. What a lucky mm. experience. I'm not sure how I can help, but it's clear that they have problems to deal with. Why don't you go talk with the residents first? I love to go as well, but as you said, only one person can use the sea mirror. What a pity. Aha, uh -huh, what an unexpected turn of events. If you need any of my tools, don't forget to check out the Cobra shop. Yes, yeah, so I have to use the sea people mirror first to visit their village. Okay, that was a whole day, by the way, in like, Jesus Christmas. Sea people's mirror. Oh boy. You can use the sea, you can use the mirror. Tenzin gave you to immediately travel to the Sea People Village. The mirror is solar powered, so it's unable to be used at night. I see. Interesting. And we got the we got the jellyfish event, right? In uh, how many days? D. Ooh, so two more days. Wait, when? Does, can I see it in the in the app? It is three days. So is this like 10, 12? So. Okay, so on the 15th, right? So we have this... Wait, so we do have... Unless it... Yes. So the 13th, the 14th, and then the 15th is going to be... So we have a lot of time. I mean... Maybe it's... Yeah, probably. Anyway, I, I don't know how time works. Uh, we should probably sell some stuff as well. You can only do that in the morning. Uh, sell. Oh, I can get an upgrade kit. Increases the gun. That's interesting. Um... They sell all... I mean, I guess I don't want to sell all these. Sell this, though. This is just money. Use the enhanced weapon. Okay, I'll just keep everything to enhanced weapons. Because that's going to be useful later. Uh, we needed a lot of fragments, right? And we should also try... See, increased dash speed is really good. And then 50% damage seems really good as well. You have other stuff. Reduce damage taken is good, too. Actually, reduced damage taken might be better because I take a lot of damage. Let's try the damage. Um, anyway, let's take the, the thing. Here we go. What the hell to see people up to? This event is going to be cool. We need to get as many jellyfish as possible. A request from the sea people. Here we are. We got coins at the top. What is going on here? Reddit at the bottom right. <laughs> What the fuck? Mima's restaurant. Oh boy. Well, well, are you the human we've been hearing rumors about? Aha uh -huh, ho, you don't look as scary as I expected. My name is Mima. I run a restaurant in the village. I'm Dave. I'll be helping out at the village for a while. Aha uh -huh, ho, re receiving help from a human. I never considered it a possibility before. Let's see. It's not like I can ask you to cook. Hmm. My goodness, I forgot. A Wong and a Wong ordered lunch boxes. Oh, the gatekeepers that were whispering earlier? Yes, would you perhaps take these lunch boxes I left to the front door? It should still be on duty at the gates. Please help me out. All right, sure. That's easy peasy. Uh, do I have them? Okay. Music here. They're just talking and chilling. There's... Oh, wait, there. There it is. Me. I gotta hold them. This is ridiculous. Oh, we got. <laughs> look at the dolphin! Or I don't know if that's a dolphin. Narwhal or something? What are they called? Hi there, I got your lunch. Oh my god. Um, human, what is it? I was asked to bring you these lunch boxes. These are from Mima. You didn't add poison on the way here or anything, did you? What? Why would I? Well, all right, give it here. Good work, I suppose. There you go. That's gonna be very soggy food. <laughs> Are they eating? Just holding it. Excuse me? Am I supposed to leave? What's going on here? They're just staring at me? Did I get anything from that? Did I get, like, a credit? Ret oh, I need to return to Mima first. This is ridiculous, and I love it. Hi there. 
Oh, you delivered them, didn't you? Haha, <laughs> humans are not half bad. I'll tell you if I need something done again. Okay, we got bay and we got credit. I see. We need 100 total credit, so we need to help 10 people. I mean, gonna go quite fast if they're as simple as these missions are. Seed shop. Look at all those plants. Are you that human? Human, not human. Har har, you look interesting. You don't even have fins. I do have fins, literally. <laughs> he reminds me of someone. What is this shop you're running? Wait, is that the farmer guy? I sell various seeds here, as well as flowers to offer to Link King Long. King Long, also, I'll, I'll probably stay in this corner because it's gonna be a lot of talking. King Long, my goodness, don't tell me you don't know who King Long is. He's the great king who served this village from this aster. It's very difficult to hold a conversation with you, you know that? Go on and offer a flower to King Long first. The tribute flowers are on the platform outside. Take one. Alrighty. Love how they have doors, but you go through the window instead. <laughs> like, why even have doors at that point? Okay, gotta hold it again. God damn it. They're really getting a lot of mileage out of this mechanic. Of holding stuff. Whee! Wait, can I, like, speed it up? Okay, that's not faster at all. I'm assuming I'm going to the to the exclamation mark over here. It's the altar. I got a freaking portal as well. What the hell? This place is amazing, though. Wait, they got water on the water? Excuse me? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> this is the statue of King Long. It's the same per person as the painting from the record chamber. I guess I can put the flowers on the platform in front of the statue. <clears throat> Going very slow. I've done what he asked, so I should go back and talk to him. Can I get multiple quests at the same time? What is this thing? I guess I can't go through it. There apparently is such a thing as like what like waterfalls underwater people when I was playing Subnautica and there were those like Waterfalls underwater people said that that actually happens. I don't know What exactly causes them but like not obviously water because water would just get lost in the other water but like Like I don't know different chemicals and stuff like that That are like heavier so they go to the bottom uh, I did peek a little and it seems you did okay even so, I can't just trust a human who doesn't even know who, what King Long has done. Go and do a bit of reading or something. Okay. At least you give me the credit already. You don't even see these... What? This makes no sense. Where's the door? You go out the front, there was a door to the side of the window. This, this house is a lie. Wow. Oh, that is very cool. Love the music here, too. A peaceful village. Look at that. Oh, there's a giant and uh, oyster or something. Go see over here. Can I help the king and maybe get? I mean, I guess the king already trusts me anyway. But they're just having fun. They're having a great time. People just living and chilling here. What is this? Blacksmith? Human. Oh, that's it. Okay, I guess I need to help. Other people need to trust me first before this guy trusts me to sell him his weapons. Makes sense, I guess. Fire underwater. Can I take this? I can't shoot down here, obviously. That would be a bad, bad idea. Game parlor. You're the human that's been wandering about the village, right? What fancy decorations? What is this place? Yeah, see people work work hard here every single day. This is a place of pleasure for the hardworking villagers, so I can't come in, right? Uh, it's all right. Species is no barrier to enjoyment, is it? All right, you're helping out at the village. Isn't that right? Yes, I guess that's how it is for now. I've been needing help with something. This establishment operates a seahorse races, which are extremely popular. The recent earthquake destroyed the general quarters and all the seahorses have run off. Should still be in the village. Can you catch them for me? Oh god, this is gonna be annoying as hell. Sea horses, they're small to catch with a harpoon. I'll have to think of a way. Can I use my net gun or something? How am I gonna do this? 
You just grab them? Where are they at? Look at that. We're farming. Cool. Alright, where are the seahorses? I don't see any. Any seahorses? Seahorses? Maybe over to the right here? In the cave? Is there a cave? It looked like there should be. Nope. Right, do you, have you seen any seahorses? How did you get here? Oh, well, never mind. No one likes me. Need to get four different ones of them. Jesus. I better get like a huge reward for this because this is going to take forever. I just go back into the village. I guess I just go back into the village and we'll see. Also, I have infinite oxygen down here, which I very much appreciate. <laughs> Where are the seahorses? Look, and I don't see any. Can't go in the. Maybe I can go to the background with this. Oh, there's one. Oh, just you can't just grab us. You need some kind of tool. What do you mean? I guess I go to the blacksmith to ask for a sea seahorse grabbing tool. Like what the fuck? Blacksmith, you got a tool for me? Maybe this thing? I need some help with grabbing... Mm, human. Give me some help, brothers! I'm trying to... God damn it, these people are so annoying. <laughs> okay, uh, what am I supposed to do? Do I have to talk to them again and be like, Hey, how do I grab this shit? Can I get some help, please? Maybe one of these people... Maybe you got something. You look suspicious. This is troublesome. All the seahorses escaped. We can't hold races, and it's been tough putting food on the table. Earth... Yeah, yeah. Would you like a little live music? very pretty thank you <laughs> thank you sir i hope you enjoyed it all righty oh shark teeth this is the game of sharks which you play with eunuch remember the shark cavity that you sometimes get a glimpse of numbers one two and three are selected whoever touches it first will lose what Um, sure. What is happening? Do I have to... What am I doing? <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. It's, it's like, I see. Okay, so you need to get them to touch the... Oh, fuck. I forgot which one it was. I think it was the... I can't point my mouse at it. Yeah, he does three. Then I think I can do one. Or I think I can actually do... I think I do two here. And then I think that's the one. But maybe he can do one and then I get... No. No, don't do one. No, you bitch! Oh, fuck. Well, definitely one. I'm dead. No! I fucked up. I knew it was that one. I should have just trusted my... <laughs> fuck you. Okay, we got... This is a fairly simple game. You just gotta, like, actually remember. I wish I could point my mouse at it. Okay, let's, let's do it. Let's see. I need to make sure which one. Okay, that one. I'm pointing at it on the screen. Okay. Three. Let's just get there as soon as possible. One. This is like... Three. Okay. He this... Were you pathetic? Just do three. Get us there faster, you idiot. Why am I doing this? I'm playing a fucking fishing game. <laughs> okay. I'm just get, trying to get there faster. Okay. He's doing one again. 
So let's see. I need to make sure that he can't do that. So I, if I do one, he can do three. Then I can do... Okay, so I need to be careful here. If I do... Sorry, I'm like pointing at my own screen. If I do one, he can do three. And then I can do one, he can do three. Which is fucked. So I need to do... If I do three... I think I'm fucked. Because if I do three... No, he can... If I do three, he can do one and then I'm fucked as well, no matter what I do. If I do two, he can do... Okay, if I do two... I think I need to do two here. Hopefully the AI is not perfect. What does he do now? He does three. He does two. Yeah, this is fucked. Now I'm screwed. He is fun. The AI is perfect. Like, I think I got myself stuck there. Because now if I do one, he does three, and then I'm fucked. If I do three, then he does one, and I'm fucked. If I do two, he... Yeah, I, I lost. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, this is way... Because now he's going to do three, and then I lose. Wait, no, he sucks. He's stupid! Okay, well, I guess the AI is dumb. Because now I do two, and then he's dead. Unless I mistimed it. Yeah, now he's dead. Okay. <laughs> That he just screwed it up. Have fun. Boink. <laughs> All right. Well, that was... This is just like abusing a, a non-perfect AI, which is fine. I got my money back. I'm not about to play this game for like three hours long here. I'm getting the fuck out. <laughs> Please stop. Let me out of here. Okay, what is find the pearl? Let's just talk to him. Well, look at you, human. I'm sure you had a lot of trouble coming all the way down here. Nothing like a few games to get your adrenaline going. Play a game with me. No! I'm done. Alright, anyway. <laughs> um. Okay, I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do with these seahorses, though. Details. Um. Arcade, workshop, King Long Square. <sighs> How do I. Portal! Yeah, can I go to the portal? And then go to the back area? I don't have anything. I can't click my weapon. Take the portal. Oh, okay. There you go. You can't actually take the portal. You just gotta press spacebar. Okay. Um, let's see. Ramon, can you help me at all? Hey, don't go poking in the village too much. You might trip on a seaweed with those silly legs of yours. Jesus Christ. Let's see if there's anyone else over here. I heard that this was the door previously used to go to the glacial region. This passage has been locked for a while. Nobody knows what state it's been in during that time. Okay. There's going to be a frozen fish for sure. You already know it. Frozen giant leviathan. King Long Shrine. Nobody is here. I guess I'll have to come back later. Dude, what the fuck? Are th <laughs> this is so weird, man. <laughs> Can I go back to fishing, please? I didn't sign up for this shit. Okay, this doesn't do anything. Okay, nice. That, that was a quick teleport. Oh, I'm going to the edge now. All right, I guess I go in here. Can you give me a fucking tool so I can catch these stupid seahorses? There's a seahorse in there. Okay. Dear me, the tremors are getting worse. Human, hurry up and help the, vi help the villagers. Um, I wouldn't mind having a bit of help from you. You'll need to trust- Oh, God. I've heard a lot of bad things about humans. Go and help out the villagers first. I wish I could! I'm, I'm telling you, I wish I could help them out. But they're so fucking in unclear. Instructions are unclear. See her stuck in ceiling fan. I guess I'll just go uh, somewhere else? Am I stupid? Like, is this way clearer than- I'm making it out to be. Oh, wait, no, there's another one. I know where all three of them are, but I don't know how to get them. Maybe you got something for me. Good shop. There are more earthquakes later. Your face should be even stronger during times like these. Oh, there's another. There's it. You need some kind of tool. How about you fucking... <sighs> what tool? <laughs> What are you talking about? I'm getting so annoyed at these stupid seahorses. 
Um, I guess I'll go in the last house I haven't checked, see if someone got something for me. And then I genuinely have no clue what to do. I'm gonna have to look it up online. Oh my human, I'm running into you often. I think I have another request for you soon. Come visit. Suck. Can I leave the village? Because I've checked every single building, right? Have I? I've checked the temple. There was no one there. I checked this board, maybe? There's a board. Maybe I can get another quest, which will give me a tool, which will then allow me to do this shit. We, we know this one's here, there, and then in the... Yeah, there, board. There are no active requests. There's a fucking request board like it's fucking The Witcher 3 over here. Um, all right. I'm gonna just look it up. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing anymore. Oh, okay. I'm supposed to... Oh, okay. I'm supposed to do the quest from the girl in the sushi restaurant. And then I can do... Then I get the bug net. And then I can use the bug net to catch the seahorses. Okay. <laughs> I guess it was just supposed to be super confusing and you'd leave and come back later. All right. Well, I could have given that fish if you didn't skip the entire day last time. You skipped the whole day and I couldn't do anything. Okay. So we got to do that. I see. I understand. Anyway, let's catch some fish. Wait, it's already... Oh, no. We're deep down. Oh, hi. Wait, these are new fish? I don't remember seeing you ever. I guess I'll just hoosh you. Get all the fish down here. Get these guys. These are always super heavy. Oh, that's that fish again. Okay. Three tooth puffer. My friend. Boom. I got one more, dude. Having that extra bullet is really nice. The tranquilizer gun. I, I at first I hated it. Now it's like my favorite thing. Get three different fish though. Get this really quick while that falls asleep. Get another one. Upgrade. I'll take it. Go, go, go before it wakes up. Okay, I got it. Just in time. Anyway, now we're just going to fill our uh, our inventory with fish because we got to do some uh, sushi business. Get more. We'll just try and get all the fish down here. It's got to be special fish, right? Boom. And this way I get way more from every single one of the fish. Which is really nice. I should have done the fang tooth instead because that guy's fight fights back. Right, I would love more bullets. I guess I could just... Wait, can I even get out here? Is this blocked off? Am I stuck in here? That's not even real. Wait, how do I get the fuck out of here? Excuse me? I can't? I, I, I committed to going to the Sea People Village and now I have to fish down here and then leave? Oh god. I just electrocuted myself like an idiot. Okay. Wait, so I have all the fish now? There's nothing else down here? There's a rock. I'm getting confused. Because I can't get out of here. Yeah, well, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to leave with the- I mean, I got 43 kilos. I guess we'll leave with that. And then, uh, yes. After, so we don't want to go to the sea people village, but they sent me here! <laughs> they made me do this! <laughs> like, what the fuck? You sent me here before I was prepared. I guess this is gonna be like a, a long-running quest line then. Like, this is not gonna be something you just quickly finish. I was expecting it would be something you just do real quick and then you get the next mission, but it's like a whole chapter, so yeah. We're going to be coming back and forth here while doing our own stuff. Because I'm assuming this counts as a whole fishing expedition, right? This guy, this is going to be afternoon now. I'm assuming. Or is it still morning? We got a bunch of seeds as well. Is it? Yeah, it is afternoon now. All right. Well, anyway, I think that's what we're going to call it for this episode because I've been going for almost two hours and I want to keep the episodes around two hours long between like one and a half and two hours long. So yeah, in the next one, we're going to uh, go make sure this this lady is happy, which we're going to do by not going to the Sea People, People Village, but instead just getting a bunch of jellyfish. 
as well for this event feeding the lady which i think we can already do because we already got the recipe for that uh and then we just gotta uh, get us money because we literally just fish in the afternoon get a bunch of jellyfish for the event do the thing uh and then we get the bug net we continue everything it's gonna be fun i'm mean, having a lot of fun i was just a little weird like a little confused there because i had no idea what i was supposed to do but then i looked it up and now i realized anyway okay thank you guys so much for watching over on youtube let me know if you like dave the diver as much as i do i hope you're enjoying the videos if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the live streams you can join us over at twitch.tv slash insim or click the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye <laughs>